Right, so the next stage of the plastic challenge is um, trying to get food ready so that we can eat it and not be in plastic. And so some things that's like easier, so we're going to get um, a veg box from the market and I've actually emailed them and you can get one way, they will try and package everything for you without any plastic. So that's nice of them. You obviously can't do that with like salad, which is tricky. So maybe if I go there, I'll try and find something. Um, and meat, you can also do the same. Um, so we'll do that. I'm trying really hard to get milk. I can't find the guy. It's not very easy online to try and find him. So come on, hopefully, hopefully it will happen that we get delivered milk and then they can just wash up and use it again. So this is the latest development. I basically have made these rather fetching bags um, from, I mean you could do it, you, if you've got a bag at home you could just use a bag but I didn't have like lots of them and so I've, I, I've got a sack of material at home so I've just, um, it took about 10 minutes to make five of them. The first design I went for like a pillowcase design so like you flip it over and just sew down like that um, but then I thought actually everything's going to fall out so with this I've got, I don't know if you can see, there's like a loop here, it can fold out like that and you put your food in and then pull it tight. So in here I've got some lentils, I've actually just spilt some on the floor, sorry. But I've got some lentils in here which I've got from a shop called, from Scoopway and they've got these like massive barrels and um, there's like a, um, a scoop and you can just pour it into the, the bags that you've got. They've got like plastic bags and paper bags there that you can use, but obviously it's better if you can take your own because then you're not using any plastic. Yay! Um, so I've got lentils because um, we're going to try and make some soups. We've just been eating loads of plastics, like not plastic soup, but soup in a plastic pot and then you just chuck it away. And then So we're going to try and make our own and then put it into those plastic pots and then just keep doing it. I've got some quinoa never had that before. Well, I've had it, but I've never cooked it. I can't show you. I'll try. Mm. Um. No. <laughs> I've, I've just keep dropping everything. Okay, and then uh, there was, um, I've got a big bag of rice, a big bag of risotto rice, um, and some pasta. I don't think the pasta will last ages because of meal club, but it, I mean, it's, it'll last enough time. So I've got this this whole thing's full now with food that I can take back to Leeds um, and it's like basically all the staples which I was going to struggle to find if you find, if you know a place in Leeds can you just let me know because I just don't really know of a place where that does all this stuff easily yeah so hopefully that'd be nice just going back to Manchester tomorrow and take it all back and then to Leeds on Sunday and hopefully we can eat this stuff but I'm just if you know if you know a milkman in um Holbeck, can you let us know as well? Thanks!